Good evening. It's a great privilege to be representing and leading the Pershing Square Zone Cancer Research Alliance. Tonight, we are recognizing and celebrating some of the most talented young cancer researchers in New York City. When I look around the room, it is really hard not to be impressed by all of you as leaders, as scientists, as business people, as philanthropists. It's quite impressive. At dinner tonight should really be clearly under the theme, the leaders of today meet the leaders of tomorrow. As you know, it's a very exciting time for biomedical research. And at the same time, we are really faced with a real crisis in academic funding. For multiple reasons, the federal funding has eroded. And as a consequence, the future is challenging for young scientists who want to embrace a career in medical research. We don't want to be faced with a shortage of young scientists. The Pershing Square Zone Prize was created to find in the scientists the freedom to do their own work, to take risks, to pursue their boldest research. In addition, the prize has taken the unique approach to pair each one of our prize winner with a mentor in the pharma and biotech industry and to create a strong network around our prize winners. At the heart of our organization are our board members, and the Pershing Square Zone Cancer Research Alliance relies on the guidance of an incredible prize advisory board. We are, in addition, extremely grateful to our Scientific Review Council. And none of this would have happened without the support of Evan Zong and his board at the Zong Conference Foundation. And nothing would have happened without the incredible generous commitment that Bill and Karen Ackman made to cancer research over two years ago. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Karen, for your incredible generosity and your commitment to every project you undertake. The genesis here uh, for this uh, prize came from a uh, you know, I'm a, a fairly spontaneous person, and the reason for our partnership with Sohn is that, uh, for those of you who don't know, the, uh, uh, Evan and his family put together, along with Doug Hirsch and, and, and others, this uh, uh, investment conference in honor of a friend who died of cancer. And it started out with 100 people giving $1,000, uh, and they'd hear investment ideas. And then over 20 years, you know, I just went to uh, Avery Fisher Hall, where 3,000 people uh, heard investment ideas. I was one of the speakers and $4 million was raised uh, for, for pediatric cancer uh, research. The reason why we, we had done nothing in the foundation and in the cancer world is we view it as just this sort of insurmountable, enormous problem with huge amounts of money, government funding, and everything else. At least that's the perception, uh, the naive perception that we had uh, from the outside. And Olivia talked about this huge gap in funding for young scientists. And uh, I'm a huge believer in youth. And uh, the notion of backing young, talented people in, uh, at early stages of their, relatively early stage of their scientific career was something that's very appealing to us. So I think that in addition to supporting young scientists, this little prize is promoting collaboration among institutions and uh, friendships. And uh, the, the woman responsible is Olivia, so I just wanted to thank her for uh, Uh, wonderful. So Evan, uh, whose brother uh, uh, died of cancer, but ultimately uh, the legacy has led to uh, 60 million of, of uh, cancer-related funding came from uh, this initiative, and uh, and it will continue. So thank you. Thank you. So we are going to call every one of the prize winner of the 2015 cohort to come to the stage. Timothy Chen from Memorial Sloan Kettering. <laughs> Timothy's work is on immunotherapy in lung cancer and melanoma. <laughs> Arvin, Arvin Dar from the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai for his work on RAS signaling in pancreatic melanoma and lung cancer. 
Avery Pidis Gavachotis from Albert Einstein College of Medicine for his work on apoptosis and pancreatic cancer. <laughs> Moritz Kircher from Memorial Sloan Kettering for his work on nanoparticles in pancreatic cancer. <laughs> Sohel Tavazoy from Rockefeller University for his work on the role of small RNA fragments in metastasis in breast cancer and melanoma. Christine Meyer from Memorial Sloan Kettering for identifying new protein function regulation in leukemia and lymphoma. I didn't prepare anything. I only wanted to thank the foundation, Bill, for founding this foundation and to giving us the money. Um, so I'm actually very proud to be um, a winner of this prize and I'm really look looking forward to meeting the other scientists, to discussing their ideas, the new projects, and I'm also excited to meet the people from industry because they might actually help me to bring our very basic research project to transform it into something that actually might help cancer patients. Okay, thank you. The board was so impressed with the quality of the applicants that we had and we decided exceptionally this year to give two additional awards for a year of funding to two scientists who are really truly exceptional. Christopher Mason from Well Cornell and Christopher Vacock from Cold Spring Harbor. So we want to really congratulate them and congratulate all of you for your dedication and your commitment to cancer research. We're very proud to be among you. It just shows the commitment of you know, people who've been incredibly successful in science, uh, science to the next generation. And I think that is really a wonderful thing to see and we're really delighted to be a part of it. So thank you all of you, uh, as led by our, our chair, Lori uh, Glimcher. Thank you.